voter registration. This is Linda. May I help you? Linda, this is James Smith out in Precinct 362. I've been in line to vote for a while, and now the precinct judge is telling me that I'm not on their list and that my voter certificate has expired. Okay, let me take a look. All right, is your birthday July 24th, 1981? Yes, that's correct. Well, it looks like your certificate was sent to an address on Convict Hill, but was returned to our office as non-deliverable because there was not a Mr. Smith living at that address. Is this correct? I still live there, but there was a period earlier in the year when I was working out of town and my mail was supposed to be forwarded. Maybe that's when the mix-up happened. Okay, I see. Well, if you let me speak with the election judge, I can get this taken care of for you. It sure is nice to have these images on the desktop, isn't it? Document imaging. What is it? Why does Travis County use it? Document imaging is a method for preserving vital or historic records. It relies heavily on technology and personnel to accomplish this task. The three main purposes are preservation, to increase the usefulness of the records, and to enable disaster recovery. Travis County is required by state law to preserve documents for various lengths of time, depending on the type of document. The uh, penalty that results from not following these rules is uh, public perception that the government is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and that's managing their records effectively. Not only does state law require preservation, just think if a catastrophic disaster occurred in the Austin-Travis County area, like the Manor Fire in 1994. Millions of permanent records would be at risk. Court cases, marriage certificates, birth certificates, land use permits, and many other types of records. The preservation techniques currently in place greatly reduce the risk of permanent loss to these documents. There are primarily three processes for document imaging. Microfilming, digital scanning of paper documents, and digital scanning of microfilm. Each of these three processes is necessary to fulfill the mission and comply with the state mandate. The county established its in-house microfilm operation nearly 20 years ago. The county began digital imaging over 10 years ago. Today, both these operations are handled by the Imaging Division of the Records Management and Communications Resources Department, or MCR for short. In 2005, the county designed and built an imaging lab at its airport boulevard facility specifically for that purpose. The imaging division processes over a million images a year at this facility. These are the vital records of the residents of Travis County. The records originate from many different departments in the county, all preserved by the imaging division. To date, Imaging has microfilmed over 25,000 rolls, containing over 84 million images. These records go back as far as, well, before Texas even became a state. But if digital technology exists today, why still use microfilm? The use of digital technology for records is primarily for access. However, uh, digital technology is new enough uh, that we don't really know um, how long digital records will, will keep or will be maintained. Uh, so microfilm is a proven uh, technology. It uh, dates back to the late 1800s. And you can still read microfilm from the 1800s, believe it or not. It's a stable technology and it basically doesn't require any software or any hardware to read it. So uh, having a long-term record digitized but backed up on film is a prudent and a conservative uh, measure to protect those records. 
Funding for the imaging division has been shared among three sources. The general fund, the county clerk records management fund, and the county clerk preservation fund. The county clerk portion is about to change. The imaging program's funding began in 1987 with the general fund. This model continued until 1996, at which time the county clerk records management fund was the primary source of funding for the program. This is about to change as a result of the major work for this division being completed, I'm happy to say. The county clerk special projects may be completed, but there are still core functions that are required. One of the core functions is expunctions for the district clerk, county clerk, and sheriff's department. The expungement is a petition filed by an individual who qualifies for a remedy to have their criminal history erased. The purpose generally for those folks who are seeking employment is that they will not have that arrest history, but you have to have qualified. Another core function is the daily microfilm preservation of civil and criminal minutes from the district and county courts. These are permanent records and represent the most important records of the courts. Only microfilm fulfills the archival requirements. Other core functions include County Clerk Real Property Digital to Microfilm Conversion, Microfilm Duplication, Scanning and Data Extraction of the Election Precinct Books, Voter Registration Card Scanning, TNR Construction Drawing and Permits Microfilming, Scanning and Data Extraction of Counseling and Education Services Survey Forms, and managing the county's 25,000 roll library of archival microfilm. In addition, there are eight major projects already in the works that require document imaging. The first project is the archiving of Commissioner's Court videotapes to DVD. There are over 7,300 hours of Commissioner's Court voting sessions, work sessions, and public hearings on tape that date back to 1987. Over time, these tapes will deteriorate in the form of flaking, stretching, and compressing. Eventually, these tapes will become unplayable. A project is underway to convert all these old tapes to the more stable DVD format. DVDs have longer shelf life and require less storage space. Projects 2 and 3 involve the conversion from microfilm to digital of the older district clerk's civil and criminal minutes. These are the most important records in the district court legal proceedings and are referenced as many as 500 times a day. Since the implementation of the document management system in 2005, all records made after that point are available online. However, all records prior to 2005 are on microfilm and must be converted to digital for easy reference in the courthouse. It is a process that requires both trained technicians and advanced quality control. The end result is a faster, more easily accessible record. When this project is completed, what once took half an hour to access will only take about a minute. The digitizing project will significantly lower the staff researcher time, and most of all, I think it will um, also help preserve accurate and safe records for generations to come. All the equipment, personnel, and technical knowledge for this digital conversion are already in place. These resources are currently being used for the County Clerk Deed Project with successful results. The D project will be completed in December 2006. Resources can then be redirected to the District Clerk Digital Conversion Project. Converting these records to digital will enable faster and easier access. Projects 4 and 5 involve the microfilming of District Clerk civil and criminal case files. Although the minutes are the most referenced record, the entire case file is important as well. These records must be retained for a long period of time and undergo historical review before they can be destroyed. There are about 13,000 boxes of these case files stored in an off-site facility. Once on microfilm, the paper files can be destroyed, allowing for space and cost savings. 
In the year 2000, the Transportation and Natural Resources Septic System Program was transferred from the City of Austin to Travis County. When this occurred, it was found that these vital and permanent records had no backup. RMCR, in conjunction with TNR, determined that microfilm was the optimum preservation method. Together, they began a microfilming project that is now 63% complete. Once microfilmed, these records may be digitized and available online and in the field as well. RMCR also has been microfilming TNR engineering drawings for nearly 20 years. The proposed plan calls for a continuation of microfilming for preservation purposes, as well as the digitizing of these records to facilitate online access. Document Imaging It's vital to safe and convenient record keeping in Travis County. It will enable the county to preserve and protect records that span from the beginning of Texas to the far future.